Good morning, everyone. Today I am working on my collection obsession, and I am going to be scrapbooking my two grands with my daughter and her husband. And anyhow, I don't know what Brenna is doing, but Tegan's just looking at them fondly. And I am going to do a band design, so I'm going to do one for each girl. And I'm going to start by, this is a six inch here, these are one inch. And I'm going to start by placing this at the three inch up. I just thought it was so cute how they're just hanging right there by their parents. Oops, I think that one is upside down. Not that it probably matters because you're not going to see but a half an inch of it. Okay. And then I'm going to go up about a half an inch from there. Let's see, maybe I'll even make a mark there. Let's see my pencil here. So I'm going to go up about a half an inch. And then place this there. So it's like this is going to be like the fastest <laughs> layout ever. And I've got new tape and everything, so it's like it's. Nothing should stop me. Because <laughs> I know sometimes I think, oh, it's, it's going to be so fast, and then it's not. I think it will, really will be. Okay. And I'm just going to flip this around. And let me see. I can make a mark here on this one, too. That way it should be faster. Let's see, we want a whole inch. I mean a half an inch actually. I just think these um, colors are so subtle. It will make a beautiful at a wedding. I think it might have been his aunt that was getting married in this picture. Well, she wasn't getting married in the photo, but I think it was after their wedding, after her wedding. Okay, and she was getting married for the first time and she was 70. Or 70 something, it was just amazing. <laughs> she was a school teacher for a long time. And I guess she just never met Mr. Wright. Okay, and I'm going to kind of start this about two and a quarter inches over here, I think. Oh, but down just a little bit lower because I kind of want it centered. And this is a 4x6, but it's trimmed down just a little bit to, I think it ended up being a 5.5 and, and just a smidgen narrower. Okay, and then I have this little lace. And this is one of those um, Tim Holtz lace dies, or I, there's no name. It's like a number, and it's like I I will have it in the description. But I love these little laces because I'm a lace and doily lover. Okay, 
and I'm just going to put it right underneath the picture, but down on the little blue trim. And I'm just gluing it at the top. Oh, my glue is just forever. <laughs> not getting enough air or something. Okay, and then I have this piece that I've cut out of one of the cut apart sheets. And I'm going to use that. And I'm gonna put it kind of, kind of centered. So that I kind of have about the same from this side as the other. That should do it. And I am going to probably overlap this a little bit. So I'm going to put a little glue there. Because the title is going to be lovely. Because I just think all my girls look lovely there. And I'm just going to start it right there. And since it's a short word, hopefully I can get it on here without an issue. Because <laughs> you know how I am. It's like sometimes I have to mess with it for <laughs> moving it around two or three times. And these letters, I think I have four sets of them. They are Paper Studio. And I've gone through four sets. They're almost, I think I have three that are almost full. Except for I'm out of ease on all of them. They never give us enough ease, especially these ones. It's like there's less ease than, well, I think I have capital E's left. But I mean, I know I have capital E's left, but it's like it's just ridiculous. Give us more E's. Be my protest. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to use some of these butterflies that I cut out from one of the papers. And I've already put my dimensionals on here. Aren't you excited? <laughs> so it's not taking me forever. Okay, and I'm just going to put one over here. And then I'm going to... And I've already taken off the backs too because I know that takes me a long time. Just fussing with it. Okay, and I'm going to put this one going this way. And got another blue one. And another blue one. So I have three blue ones and Two of the peachy colors here. And then I'm just going to use some of these. They're like the palest blue. They almost look like a white that has had just a tinge of blue mixed in it. Kind of like my ceilings. I like high ceilings, and my ceilings are eight foot, you know, the average. But um, by putting a little bit of blue in it, it makes them appear a little higher. So I did that on all of them. And nobody would ever know that they're actually a tinge of blue when they come in. But it does give the illusion that they're a little bit higher. My painters thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> but 
<laughs> they agreed it worked. <laughs> I know I did that for a client. Um, it's like their house actually had seven and a half foot, I think. And he's like, is there anything you can do? I hate it that they're so short. And I did that. He loved it so much that he did every room. So if you have that issue, you know what to do about it now. Okay, so that's it. I mean, it's simple. It's elegant. I just think these pictures really show off the picture nice. I'll have close-ups at the end. And here's my second one. They're identical to each other. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.